All right, so this video about shoes is sponsored by Stance Socks. So it's perfect. You can't even be mad. So I watched Forrest Gump the other day, right? And you know that scene where he's talking about shoes? Mom well, always said it. there's an awful lot you can tell about a person by their shoes. She said they was my magic shoes. All right, Forrest. You can open your eyes now. And yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's exactly how it panned out, but I agree that you can tell a lot about a person by their shoe choice. I think if anything is gonna be a make or break for your outfit, it's definitely gonna be your shoes, you know? And you guys seem to be liking this format, so I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. And here we go. So I put together the top five sneakers that I've been seeing on everyone this year, and I think we got a good batch. So without further ado, let's start the mild bullying that can be disguised as comedy. I mean, uh, uh, memes. Oh, wow. So starting off with the first pair, we got Air Force Ones, the ultimate shoe for people who are into fashion and don't want to try that hard, but also still look good. But also, you're not that special. Wow, we're off to a strong start here, huh? Great shoe for almost like every look at this point. Like if fashion was food, I think forces are fries. Hear me out. Like nuggets, fries, tenders, fries, Burger, what are you gonna say, mashed potatoes? Fries, seasonal depression, fries. See what I mean, it just works. And you got multiple different fries too, you know? So this really holds my point. But that being said, it makes people that wear Air Force Ones range from bona fide fashion icons that influence the modern trend to even that one girl in class at the back that eats hot Cheetos and walks during the mile at PE. You know that girl? We we all know that girl. I Everyone's had that girl in their class. I was friends with that girl. I, I loved hot Cheetos in the morning, period. Also, the hot Cheeto intake kind of made me almost obese at one point, which resulted in me walking the mile with her. <laughs> best friends. But the shoe is kind of a scapegoat because I'm not going to knock anyone for rocking some crisp whites, you know? But for those black forces, there's no uh, there's no point in making fun of this meme because it's dead. And so is everyone who's ever messed with a person that wears black Air Force One. So in the end, I think it's probably one of the best shoes you can get. I, I tell this to everyone who asked me for sneaker recommendations. You really can't go wrong. Forces, man. Such a great shoe for such a mundane group of people. I'm kidding. Look at that. I got like two pairs. So count me into the group. Air Force One, Chris P. Next up, we got the Jordan one. Kind of a gateway drug into the sneaker world. You know, you get your first pair of ones. It's chilling. It's cool. It's fun. It's fun to do with friends. And then bam, you're selling back doors on a forum with an alias on a VPN. What was once a small hobby is now totally taking control of your life. And it's like, oh, I'm just going to resell these and, and make a profit. But then you look at them and you're like, ooh, these are kind of hot, you know? These are really cool. Maybe I'll just wear them once and then I'll sell them. I swear I'm not hooked. I swear I'm not I'm not addicted to shoes. I can get out anytime I want. I just I just don't want to right now, you know? It's it's cool. It's like, "Ooh, these are looking good. I can flex for Instagram." Uh, no, I'm still in control. I'm just going to I'm going to sell these. These for resale, man. Ah, maybe just one fit. And then bam, you put them on and drops in value. Now you're broke. You can't even sell them on StockX and the Dior ones are coming soon. So you're over here crying in your Travis Scott lows. Ones, not even ones. <laughs> People that wear ones definitely know what they're on to. It's probably also the only high top that you own. And at this point, also doesn't take much to impress y'all. The Jordan 1 bread, now older. The Jordan 1 Travis Scott, now in snack sizes. The Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard, now latex fed. But other than that, solid choice. You know, just in moderation though, because people care about your well-being. Jordan 1s, not even once. <laughs> really, I'll spend so much money on these shoes, you might as well look good in them. And so now I'm teaming up with the sponsor, the shoe video, Stance Socks, to keep you guys looking good in your sneakers. It's a perfect transition. And I personally love Stance Socks. I've been rocking them since 2013, which is way before I took fashion seriously. So now that they hit me up to do work with them, it's like one of those core moments in your life where you gotta think and be like, man, I made it, but it's not that big a deal, but it, it matters to me. It's like a, it's like a personal win, you know, it really means a lot. I, I'm not crying. It's the 
seasonal depression, but I can personally vouch for the socks. And I wanna make sure that you guys get your hands on a couple pairs for this holiday season. Using my link, you can get a free pair of socks with your order. All you gotta do is click my custom link in the description and then just shop as usual. But when you add something to cart, this banner will pop up that you can click and add a free pair of socks to your checkout bag. That's it, bam, you're on your way to having great socks that actually look good and not ruin your shoes. They have an infinite selection of all types of cuts and designs. So go have a blast picking your pair for yourself or someone in your life. That's all right here, right now. Just go make sure you check them out this holiday season. It's the perfect gift, link in the description. All right, coming up next, we got Converse. Classic choice, will never go out of style. It's a timeless shoe. I think of this shoe like Kanye West. Converse. Kanye, right? Okay, hear me out. Uh, this bit is great, I promise. I worked a whole 15 minutes on constructing it. Okay, so you got your classic, your Chuck Lowe's. This is the college dropout. You know, you can't go wrong. Old school classics, it's, it's cool. And next you got your classics part two, late registration, which is the Chuck Highs. Another oldie but goldie. No bad things to say here. Um, next you got your elevated classic, graduation, which is the one stars. A lot of people's favorite, very colorful as well. Hints of the classic with a modern take. Up next, you got 808s and heartbreaks. And I don't exact, you know, I didn't even have to say anything here. This one just explains itself. Next, you got the best one. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy, which is the Converse 70s with the lunar insole. This one also makes sense. This was the album of the decade. And this is the ultimate Converse. The most durable, the best shape. Lunar soul, right? You can't compete. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You don't, stop talking. Go listen to Monster. Next, you got your edgy one. This one takes a while to understand. You know, you got Yeezus, which is the Ramones. <laughs> Okay, I get it. it's not Converse, whatever. These also fit too, whatever. You can put these here. These these are just as good. It's against the grain, you know? And then you got your Hype Beast one, which is the Life of Pablo and the Off-White Converse. This one's also self-explanatory. It tracks all the Hype Beasts like a moth to a flame. And I could go on forever, but I'm running out of Converse. And Kanye's made way too much music. How old is this guy again? What the hell? But what I'm trying to say here is just like Kanye, the shoe has thrown its way into all walks of life. So it would be hard to kind of target one person who wears Converse. But at the end of the day, I think if you're rocking the classic Chuck Taylor, you have enough taste to recognize a classic when you see one. Or you just defaulted to it. Either way, it's a great shoe and, and it finds its way into any wardrobe. So Converse, Kanye. Next boy is the dad shoes. Dad shoes? Okay, boom. But dad shoes, someone's ahead of the curve. Let me just paint a picture so that everyone can see, okay? Dad shoes, cropped trousers, turtleneck, puffer jacket, beanie, accessory bag, AirPods, bam. Don't really gotta do more here. Step one, dad shoes. Step two, art major or something. But there are levels to this. Like actually, like some of this stuff, you need stats to equip. It's like RuneScape. So you got your basics, you know, you got your Monarch stuff that you find in the tutorial, you know, you, anyone can get their hands on these. It's easy, it's easy to style, it's simple. Then you got the next level. Filas, Yeezys, or even Oswegos at the higher tier of this. More advanced, probably second year at some art college or whatever. Definitely owns a turtleneck. Probably smells good too. I don't know. <laughs> Last level's designer. Final boss energy and or international student. Has the puffiest puffer jacket of all time, all the time. Like enough surface area to be a third grade math problem, you know? Definitely friends with someone famous and doesn't have to look at price tags anymore. <laughs> Probably can't even see them anyways with that puffer jacket in the way. But dad shoes, I always thought they were dope. Honestly, I really do. But like on other people, I don't think they fit me as a person. I don't think I pull them off. But when I see them on other people, I'm like, wow, those are the coolest things ever. But it's probably also because those people are attractive and in shape. And I'm over here. I eat hot Cheetos with the dirty Air Force One girl. Dad shoes? Boomer. Last on the list is the sneaker, the Vans Old School. If anything is as versatile as the Air Force One, it's the Vans Old School. If anything is as cultured as the Jordan One, it's the Vans Old School. If anything is as classic as the Converse, it's the Vans Old School. And if anything is as memeable as the dad shoe, it's the Vans Old School. This is the shoe. Everyone owns a pair of these. Okay, not everyone. Ironically, the guy that would go to jail for Vans doesn't have a pair. I forgot mine at a hotel and I've been too lazy to buy a new pair. But this shoe has gone from hot to overplayed to charmingly retro to overplayed back to trendy, back to overplayed. And now at this point, I really don't know where the shoe is. Well, I mean, I know where mine are. They're in the Best Western somewhere in Thornville, Ohio. Probably one of the best shoes just to throw on and go about your day and not think about it. And I think this speaks for itself. You know what? Let's just, let's go and order a pair.
All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Nope. Oh God. All right, size ten, perfect. And thanks for watching. I hope you feel attacked. Thank you to Stance for sponsoring the video. Go check them out with my link and get a free pair on checkout. Everything is in the description. Leave a like and comment what you want to see next because I'm not going to do it. Still a couple pieces left of the Duality Capsule up on the website. Free shipping to all orders in the US. Going to be taking a hiatus from the brand starting next year because I want to fully overhaul everything. I have so many plans. I have not enough Red Bull. Big things coming. Bye.